Well, good luck with your campaign, Kate. Um, and Thank let's you. hope uh, that the parents get the message and start <laughs> wearing proper clothes instead of their pyjamas. How dare they? I can't believe you. You started looking at what I got on my feet no, as if I've got my slippers well, you, on. Well, you never, you never know. You never know. I must say, I, I think nobody here at the BBC ever wears, comes to work in their pyjamas. I hope not, anyway. I couldn't possibly comment. Now, the organisers of the uh, National Lottery, who are looking for the winner of a £33 million jackpot, say they've received claims from hundreds of people People who say they bought the winning ticket, but it was lost, damaged or stolen. Camelot says it won't comment while it investigates. So far, the only information released is that the missing ticket was bought in Worcester. Well, our correspondent John Kay has been to Ambleside News in Wounden in Worcester, where it's believed the winning ticket may have been sold. Everybody who's been in here this morning has been talking about that £33 million jackpot and who might have won it. Ambleside news agents basically got on the uh, in the media spotlight a couple of days ago because one of the customers who regularly buys tickets here thinks that she bought the ticket. It went through the washing machine, uh, but apparently it fell apart. And that is one of the people who has applied to Camelot uh, to try to get this done retrospectively. But since she came forward and named this news agent, several other people have come forward as well to say that they think that they came in here and bought the ticket. Mr and Mrs Patel are the news agents. Good morning to you. Good, good morning. morning. You've had a lot of people getting in touch. We have, yeah. yes. It'll be very exciting <laughs> and worrying as well. Right. Do you believe any of them? Well, without a ticket evidence of some sort in their hands, it's difficult. And, and nobody has had a, a ticket with the with all the details to, to show you to prove it? Except for that one particular lady. And you couldn't quite see the date on that one, I understand? No, no, you could see the 2016, but not the date, uh, the, the day date of it. Are you okay. with me? And the barcode at the bottom, that was visible, but it, it was blurred. Yeah. And, um, you know, so I don't disbelieve her. But there's a lot of other people now saying the same thing. Mrs Patel, you've had phone calls, you've had people coming in. That's right. Uh, what, what sort of things have they said? What sort of excuses have they given? Oh, the phone call I had, the, she says, my son uh, bought a ticket from here and it was the, she, he lost it, he says. So I said, you tell Camelot, not me. <laughs> And you've had other people coming in as well who, yeah, who, who that think it, it could be them. Yeah, that lady came and she says, uh, do you know I bought a ticket off you? You served me, she says. And I said, I, I didn't serve you because I wasn't here in this country. <laughs> You've just been on holiday. So you couldn't quite remember it either? No, <laughs> no she was not here. Yeah, she, I she wasn't, wasn't here. I was in India. <laughs> I mean, what I've noticed this morning is a lot of people coming in to buy milk or a newspaper yeah. are also buying lottery tickets lottery, at the moment. Yeah. Are you selling more tickets because of all this? We have had, yeah, we have had yeah, yeah, we've had extra inflow, mm. definitely. So, so maybe you are the winners in all of this at the end of the day in terms of profit, if not uh, winnings. <laughs> well, to an extent, I would say thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, the biggest smile in Worcester. Thank well, you very we, much. <laughs> we've only been here 27 years and I hope we've served the public well over the years. Yeah. So um, it's nice to be able to do that. OK, well, uh, among the... Uh, I'll get out of your way. Somebody else coming in for a ticket, maybe. Uh, among the uh, newspapers that are being sold here today, look, it's front-page news here on the Worcester News. Hundreds of claims for that £33 million lotto jackpot. Uh, Camelot are not giving details. They won't even confirm that this is where the winning ticket was sold because that's all part of the verification process about working out exactly uh, which claims are valid, if indeed any of them are, because, of course, it's perfectly possible that of the hundreds of people who come forward who say, look, it might have been me or uh, the dog ate it or the children swallowed it or whatever, uh, that in fact none of them are the owners of the actual ticket and the real ticket owner might still be out there unknowing. But uh, they've still got a few weeks or months. We haven't got a winner, have we? No. Uh, the real winner might still be out there uh, totally unaware. Might even be watching us right now. Who knows? Might be Who honest. knows? Well, except yeah. I wasn't in Worcester, unfortunately, on no, the day. No, but no, never mind, apart from that. Dream on. <laughs> Time for a look at the weather now. And uh, over at the BBC Weather Centre, it's John. Hi there, John.